Okay, hello class. We will be discussing, my instruction video will be about division strategy. On division strategy, there's four different strategies. Block or area model, distribution property, partial quotient model, and standard division. I prefer the standard one. That's like the long division. But um, we will be discussing all four, and I will be giving problems, example of all four strategies. The first strategy we were discussing will be box method. Box method is a mental based approach that will enhance sense of understanding. Um, in short, you will have 324 divided by 2. Use the box, box method where you divide where the 2 is on the outside and the numbers that you divide in 324 in will be on the top of the box. And you probably cannot see this clearly, but I will show you an example. You have 2, 324 divided by 2. With that, you will have, it will, at the end of that problem, it will look like this. You see where the box is like 324 times 100 equals 200. Subtract one, two, 324, try 200 for 324 be 124. You carry that to the next box. Be one, 120 subtract from 124 and put 60 on top because 60 times 2 is 120. We'll leave you 4 remaining from this box and then you carry it to the next box where you have 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And you combine all the top numbers the 100, excuse me, the 100, the 60, and the 2 together and make the, give you the answer 162. For your total answer of the of the box method strategy, our next strategy will be the, the distributive property. The distributive property tells us about tells how to solve expression in form of the distributive property law of division, which is a divided by two plus c, b plus c, and you replace a for five. And but the example is six, 625 divided by 5. And you break it down in three different stages. You have 600 plus 25. Then you have 600 plus 20 plus 5. Then you divide all that separately by 5. The answer will be 120 plus 4 plus 1. And your total answer is 125. And here's it up close. Now there's a, the third one is partial quotient method strategy, which uses partial quotient to divide large numbers with this large number. With this method, you break down the problem. You break down where in sequence where you have like the numbers on this side is like the the it's similar to long division, but the numbers on this side. And you have three thirty-six divided by eight. And you multiply 8 times 10, which is 80. That's that number. Subtract so 80 from 336, you get 256. And you say 8 times 20 is 160. You could have used 3, because it's going to end up being a number that's close to 3. You could use 30. And that'd be 96. Then you had 10 times 8 is 80. And that makes it 80. 96 minus 80 minus 96 is, is 16. And you still have these numbers on the side, as in sequence 2 times 8 is 16, will make the remainder of 0. So you combine 10, 20, and 10, and 2 together, the answer will be 42. That's the distributive, that was another prop, um, partial quotient strategy. And to see that up close, I use a little bit of different numbers. I have like 4, 4, 4, 9, 6 divided by 4, but the same concept. Your answer is 124 on here. We add up. 120 and 4 together and give you the 124. Now here comes my favorite, the standard algorithm for division. And you're basically dividing the you to divide, you think of the number of times you have your divisor can be div divided into. You're basically using long division, old school math, old school division. 
back in the 80s, back in the 70s, back in the 60s type of math that was used when I was growing up to do math problems. You basically divide two, uh, 224, 228 by 4. And you say, basically just put the 5 over the 2. 4 times 5 is 20. Bring down the 2 as your, your, your um, subtract 20 from 22. It gets you 2. And say 4 times 7 is 28. You bring down 8. Bring down the 8 to, for the next problem. Then at seven, four times, excuse me, 4 times 7 is eight, 28 with the remainder of 0. The answer is 57. So 20. 228 divided by 4 equals 57. That's the easiest math that I know of. But the, in 4th grade math and 5th grade math level, they are using the box method. But there are four different strategies that you can use. But they prefer the box method division strategy. This concludes my presentation, my uh, instructional video. I hope you got some information out of it. I hope you learned something out of it. I hope you have a good day. Thank you.